If you reside in Florida like myself and occasionally experience hurricanes that result in power outages, you may find this device to be quite useful. I will provide you with more information about it right now. Hello everybody, my name is Birdie and welcome on the driver's seat. Uh, today we're going to talk about this uh, Anker Solix C300 and this is the uh, AC version. It's a power station, 288 watt hour. It's a 300 watt 300 watt battery. It's a solar generator. Then you have 140 watt two-way fast charging. Let's go over the specs. This device has eight ports. This is the Anker Solix. You have one to three AC. You have one to three USB-C. Then you have a USB-A. These two uh, is a 100, 140 watt, 140 watt. This is a 15 watt. So if you have a Samsung Galaxy, it's gonna show fast charging but you know in order to get the super fast charging, it has to be at least 25 watt, right? And this one is 15 watt. And of course with this one, you have a 100 and 120 watt if you're using this. Now, this device, you're looking at it, uh, how does it work? So right now it's currently charging this JBL1. I purposely discharged this one. I, I used it, I didn't plug it in. This one has a large battery in it. So technically this little guy charged this one fully and there was 5% charge left in it. Okay, so let's go over this real quick. How does it work? So it comes with the app. You can navigate uh, on the app as well. Okay, I have the app installed already. As you can see, it's charging this one. It's at 65%. Now, I'm gonna turn it off completely. Just to give you an idea, the que questions I'm gonna answer for you today. Why should you pick this one, the AC version, over the DC version. Why should you have it at all? Let's cover this. All right. Let's say this one. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. Now it's off. The unit is off. And now I just get it. I'm about to turn it. I'm, I'm about to power it back on. Now you hold on this one for five seconds. Here we go. It's coming back. Right now this is not charging. And every time, of course, the Bluetooth is flashing. I already set up the the Bluetooth. If I were to set it up for the first time, I would I would have held on this one for a few seconds, and then I would look for it on the phone. Okay, so it's already installed. Uh, let's talk about this. Now, if I were to use this, I would need to press this button to activate it, okay? The cigarette lighter, well, so of course I'm not using it. If I'm using uh, this one, I must push this in order to activate it. So I'm gonna pick this up and so I can show you real quick, okay? Right now, as you can see, if you look at the top right here, right? Nothing is charging. I'm gonna activate this one. Listen to this, quiet. You're gonna hear that click. I'm gonna hold on it, wait, right. You heard that little click? So meaning now this one is activated and then it's telling you that now it's charging, okay? It's charging it at 60 watts. So this one can be charged at up to 60 watts. So this is accurate. So now I'm gonna pick this up and look, do you see it charging now, right? Here we go, it's charging it. This JBL, I took it to any of it over the weekend. So I used it because for the purpose of this video, I discharged it knowing that I was gonna use it for this video. So it's being charged right now by this guy. So this one you can use if you have, a, I'm not saying you, uh, you can make coffee or anything, but if you have a small fridge, this will take care of it, okay? If I were to take it out, I have a, a car channel and I will share in this video as well if you wanna check it out. My next move is to show you how much it can charge, how many things, how many devices can I plug in at the same time. This is my Samsung laptop that can be charged at 100 watt. This cable is by Anchor. This is a 200 watt cable. So, and this is a 140 watt cable on this one that comes with the power bank. Use this for the computer. I'm gonna use this for the power bank. Then I'm gonna use this for my cell phone plus this. And then we'll see how it goes, all right? Let's start plugging. It jumps from one, from 60 watt to 165. So now, as you can see, it's at 100 and 164. So which is pretty accurate, 165. So the computer is being charged. As you can see, let me get you the light. The computer right here. Can you see the, yep, it's being charged. Then, wait for this. I'm gonna connect this power bank, which can be charged at 65 watt, all right? Boom, let's see, all right, let's see. Here we go, it's it's going up, here we go. It jumped from, whoa, <laughs> okay. So it jumped from 160, 165 to 232 now. And this one is being charged at 65. All right, that's fun. 
Give me a moment. I'm going to get the uh, larger power bank to see if it would go up to uh, close to 300. Hold on. Hold on. That's fun. It's, it's pretty fun. I have the larger power bank I want to show you. The 737. I do have the Prime as well, but the Prime is fully charged. So we'll use this one. This one can be charged at up to 140 watt. We'll see. So I just disconnected this one. I'm going to disconnect this guy. Okay. So now bear in mind this one is still being charged at 65 and then i'm gonna check the the app as well so i can show you the computer uh can be charged at up to 100 watt so let's do this folks here we go watch this i'm gonna plug in the laptop let's see let's see it's gonna move from what i haven't seen anymore okay all right perfect from 160 to 165 now here's the power bank I'm gonna plug this in. I'm pushing it. Do you see? This one is at 120 now. It can be charged at up to 140, okay? 121, you see it? So now it's 189. Let's say if I used this cable for the computer, all right? This cable is rated at up to 100 watt. Let's see. All right, here we go. It's at 296. Do you see it, folks? Yep, 296. So now the cable, so again, the cable is very, okay, it was dropping between 296. So this one is still being charged at 124, okay? And to know exactly how it's being distributed, let's check the app. Let's check the app out. All right, what we get here, the, the total output right now is 274. The power bank is at 48%. And then 84, 84 watt is, uh, the computer is being charged at 84 watt. The power bank is being charged at uh, 130 watt. And of course the JBL one is being charged at 61 watt. So a total of 276. Earlier I got it up at up to 296, okay? So it's safe to say this is pretty, pretty accurate. And on top of it, I can still charge my phone. Let's say, again, now it's at one, one, 277, see it, right? So now I'm gonna connect my phone to see what's gonna happen, okay? I've not seen anything. It shows that my phone is being charged, but it's at, it's at 285, but I'm, I'm not seeing anything here. You see it? This one's still blank. So let me try something else. What about, what about if I try the power bank? As you can see, the power bank is still calculating. I'm not, okay, very slow, very slow. All right, 11.4 watt. So this one, bear in mind, this one can go up to this port. It provides up to 15 watt. Okay, uh, 290. Let's see. Okay, what, what do we see here? Total 286, 11 watt for C1, 81 watt for, uh, 85 watt for the computer, 130 watt for, for the power bank, and 60 watt for the JBL. So folks, remember, it's rated at 300 watt. Earlier, I clocked it at uh, 296. So we would say this is pretty, pretty accurate, all right? So again, with the app, what you can do, you can use it, uh, yeah, the light, here we go. You see, I'm playing with the light here, the brightest, and then if you wanna go bright, right? And at some point, if you wanna turn off everything, if you wanna turn the screen off, okay? You turn the screen off right here, all right? Now, the power bank is not off, only the screen is off, okay? Now, I just hook up the screen, the light, boom. And uh, of course, if I wanna turn off the power bank, I can turn it off as well. All right. Uh, the question, the other question that I wanted to answer for you: Why should you get the the AC over the DC? The DC, which is more compact, it's definitely smaller, carries the same amount of power. The AC, you have these, which you don't get with the with the DC. Okay. Yes, the DC, you have more uh, USB-C ports. You have these two at 140 watts, and you have an extra one at 100, and another one at 15, just like this one. But obviously this one, and let me show you folks, I'm gonna, dis I'm gonna disconnect this. So if you wanna recharge this thing, a solar panel, you can use this one, all right? So you can't do this at the same time, you have to flip it, okay? So another thing I wanna show you while I have this off is, uh, let's say the other, dif the other difference uh, I, I wanted to mention between this one and the, and the DC, okay? This one, I'm gonna disconnect it, all right? This one, you see the side here? So when you plug this in right here, you can charge this thing at up to 300 watt. And you can go from zero to 100 watt in about an hour and 20 minutes or less, okay? So this is pretty accurate, and this is something the DC cannot do. With the DC, what you can do, you can use these two ports and charge them at 140 watt at the same time, right? 
which gets you pretty close at uh, 280. But again, you need a charger with the capacity to do it. With this one, all you need is this. Connect it, and then it's gonna charge it pretty super fast. Uh, and of course, all this, this can be done by hand as well. The lights, let me turn this off. Uh, I like the light on the DC version better than this light. This light is good, it will do it, but how often are you gonna use the light? But again, if you live in Florida, you know, you go through power out outages, uh, this will definitely come handy from time to time. Folks, if you find value in this video, it's all uh, for you. If you find value, please comment. And if you have it, or if you're thinking about it, you're thinking about pulling the trigger, uh, let me know. And if there's any value again, as, as I've been saying, I'm gonna continue to I spend my own money. If I like the products, I'll keep it and I will share it with you. Go through it, makes mistakes, so that way you won't have to. Again, my name is Birdie. Until next time. Thank you. Bye-bye, bye-bye.